Welcome. My name is Lisa Bartle, and I am one of the reference librarians at the FAO Library. This video covers how to use the database of award-winning children's literature. The database was created in 1997 by Lisa Bartle, who continues to maintain it. This database is free for anyone to use on the internet. You can find it using a Google search, or it can also be reached by going to the FAO Library homepage, scrolling down to Choose a Database, the letter D under Databases A to Z. What is Dockel and why use it? The Dockel database indexes 162 English language awards for children's and young adults literature. It then indexes these books at a greater level than library catalogs are able to do. This allows you to generate a list of books based on your own criteria, while at the same time knowing that these materials probably reach a certain level of information, artistic quality, and reader engagement. What limitations does Dockel have? The database is a one-woman labor of love, so it cannot provide information that is too intensive. For example, it doesn't contain complete bibliographic details, such as publisher or pagination. Because children's literature is often reprinted, that information is too changeable to maintain. In-print and out-of-print status is also not included. While I try hard to stay current, sometimes the database can fall behind on award announcements. And if the item doesn't have a summary obtained from the Library of Congress or my own reading, it may not be fully indexed. So it may not appear in a search result when it ought to. The database has a strong US bias. Of the 162 awards in the database, 120, or 74%, are based in the United States. That doesn't mean American awards only choose American books, but there is a leaning in that direction simply due to the size of the country and the amount of the published materials. Once on the Dockel homepage, click the Enter Dockel link or the large graphic. This initial screen will tell you the number of awards in the database and the approximate number of records. Use the navigation across the top for the different areas of the site. The developments log documents each time the database is revised with new indexing, when newly announced award-winning books are added, or entirely new awards are added. It also shows the exact number of records in the database and how many records in the database are lacking summaries, which influences the accuracy of the results. The calendar of awards provides approximates of when award winners are announced, if they have been included in Dockel, and when that award was updated. This too allows you to know how current Dockel is when you use it. The instructions link provides detailed information about each of the fields that you can search through the search screen. Let's go to the search screen through the Search Dockel link. There are a number of drop-down menus. Let's look at them in detail. The suggested age of reader is broken down by the age of the children rather than the grade. The ages can overlap. For example, a book suitable for 12 and up will be listed for both the 12 plus book or the 14 plus book. This information is pulled from award-giving bodies and my own reading. The format dropdown has broad divisions, such as chapter book and picture book, but also more narrow divisions, such as graphic novel, verse novel, or beginning reader, also called easy readers. The options in the settings dropdown are based on the number of entries in the database. There can be large groupings such as Europe or Africa or even outside United States. Or there can be country specific choices such as Ireland or Japan. 
What if the country you are interested in doesn't appear in the list? It might still be in Dockle. For example, Armenia doesn't appear in the drop-down menu. But if I do a keyword search using Armenia, you can see we have several books with Armenia or Armenians as a keyword, though not all of them take place in Armenia proper. When a country reaches a certain number of entries, a drop-down option is added for it. Genre 2 can be larger or smaller. Fiction and nonfiction are large groups. But you can be more selective with abecedary, biography or autobiography, poetry, folk tales, science, social science, and more. What if you had a question about the genre dropdown or the options in it? You can click the link genre and it will take you to the instructions page where it will define the options for you. These may not be universally accepted definitions, but they are in operation in Dockle. The historical period dropdown covers more of a span of time the further back in time you go and becomes more specific as it moves into the modern. This field is in operation primarily for historical fiction, history, and biographies or autobiographies. There is even a search for future, which is useful for science fiction. Multicultural is a bit odd because it uses an unfamiliar definition. It doesn't mean underrepresented ethnicities or nationalities, which you can search in the ethnicity, nationality of protagonist or tale dropdown. But instead, it means one or more ethnicities, cultures, or nationalities appearing together in the text. Ethnicity and nationality relates to the country of origin, as in a folktale, or the protagonist. Like the setting, there may be more in the database than is listed in the drop-down menu. Use the keyword text box to get more specific. Gender of protagonist offers only two choices for the protagonist, female or male. If you want a transgender protagonist, use transgender in the keyword search box. As this database is focused on English language materials, English is the primary language of all the books in the database. However, there are materials that are dual language or contain a significant portion of other languages. These kinds of books are few, outside of Spanish, that the number of each of them in the database is provided in the drop-down menu, so you do not expect more of them than exist. By default, publication year is set for the earliest publication year and the latest, so you search the entire database. Should you ever wish to change it, keep in mind there must be a year in each of the text boxes or an error message will result. As we've gone on, you've been introduced to some of the search possibilities in the keyword text box. It is important to know that this database does not have the functionality of other databases that you might have used. It can only accept a single keyword or key phrase. For example, you cannot put both Kenya and transgender in the keyword text box. You may only put one. You could put in a single phrase, such as single parents. You can also use it to search a specific title to see if it has won an award. Author, illustrator, translator works best with the person's last name alone and is case sensitive. It is used to find out which books an author or illustrator has won of the awards in the database. If we wanted to know which books by Lois Lowry have been recognized, type Lowry in the Author Illustrator text box. The Awards dropdown displays all the awards in the database. If you want the largest set, do not change it, as the default is the entire database. But it is useful if you want to find a Caldecott Medal winner with a male African American protagonist. 
and you want nonfiction. The result set, however, can be rather small. The more drop-down choices you make, the smaller the result. Generally speaking, you don't want to select more than two to three options. If you're playing with Dockle and start to show repeated sets of no results, lower the number of options you choose. But also check to be sure you don't have dropdowns active from a previous search. Use the Clear Selections button to make sure the previous choices are not active in the current search and re-enter your search criteria. Let's look at the result list. Earlier, we searched for the specific title, The Hate You Give. Here it is on the results screen. You can see the author, title, the awards it has won, a brief summary, and the format, in this case, a chapter book. If you want to know what the award abbreviations mean, you can check them in the Explanation of Awards link. Copy the abbreviation of interest, open the explanations page in a new tab or window, then Control F to find the abbreviation. Among other things, you can see the country of origin, when the award began, and if the award is singular, such as the Newbery Medal, or a group award, such as the Amelia Bloomer List. Let's do another search. We'll set the suggested age of reader to 8 to 10, genre to historical fiction, and historical period to American Revolution. There are six items that match those specifications at the time of this search. What can we do with that list? Dockel is not connected to any library catalog, so you must search each title in the catalog of your choice. As a student from CSUSB, you will be interested in the OneSearch Books and Media CSUSB catalog. But you might also be interested in your local public library. The benefit of Dockle is that libraries tend to want to purchase award-winning books, so they are more likely to own them. Let's search a couple of these results to see if the Pfau Library owns them. Open the Pfau Library homepage in another window or tab. Let's copy and paste the information from Sybil Luddington's Midnight Ride. Then paste it into the OneSearch text box. But do not hit the search button or enter on your keyboard. First, make corrections in the search from the copy and paste. The illus by has to be deleted. As does the title and colon. And the year of publication, if you grabbed it. We want author and title in the search box, though Illustrator can be helpful when searching for a picture book. Second, notice the drop-down options. You do not want everything or articles. Choose Books and Media CSUSB. We can see that we have this title. It is available for checkout in the Juvenile Collection located on the fifth floor and can be found with the call number provided. There is more information in the catalog that Dockle does not have. If we click on the title of the item and scroll down, we can see the publisher.
After that, next to format, the pagination is given. Sometimes you can also see the Houghton Mifflin Harcourt reading counts range or the accelerated reader or AR level. Of course, the Fowl Library doesn't own everything. With another title, Crossing the Delaware by Peacock, we are not so fortunate. If you want to borrow this title, you will want to search either your public library's catalog or look for it at another CSU and order it through our Interlibrary Loan Service, or ILL. We can easily search for this item at other CSUs by changing the dropdown to Books and Media, All CSU. We know that the Fowl Library doesn't own it, but because it came up as a result in the All CSU search, at least one other CSU has a copy of this item. By clicking on the title, you can obtain the publisher and pagination and reading level. And you can also click sign in for more options. After you log in, you can request the item be sent to CSUSB for your use. However, neither the paper items owned by the Fowl Library or the Paper Interlibrary Loan Service can be utilized if the campus or the library building is closed. I hope this information has been useful for using the database of award-winning children's literature. If you have questions, please email me using my campus address.